within you. And so it's like when you do sacred ceremony and you burn things in that sacred fire, it's so symbolic. It's so powerful because it yeah. represents the transformative power that is inside of you that at any moment you can recreate that you can connect and you can transform into, into something else. I love that. And even thinking about in the olden days, a lot of houses were patterned around the fire mm -hmm. to keep the family warm, the hearth of the family, the hearth of the house. Yes. And so ever since ancient times, you know, ind indigenous, as well as people who were going throughout making houses, like it's always been a part of our experience. Like this has always been a part of humankind mm -hmm. in just different places throughout the world. And so it might show up in one way somewhere in different parts of the world and they might yeah. have different sayings or different traditions, but ultimately it's holding the same intention, yes. which I think is so beautiful. It's so symbolic that we're all one, we're all connected. Creating sacred space isn't something foreign or unknown. In fact, it's it's part of who we are. It's this holy space. Yes, it yeah. is. And it it brings you, it's like every time you connect with a direction, it makes you so hyper aware of that interconnection. Like for example, like when you call upon the East and you're thinking about what East represents, which is it's the, the new, the space of new beginnings. You mm -hmm. think of the sunrise coming up every morning and the opportunities to be reborn, to be, to change directions, to see things from a brand new perspective, that yeah. bird's eye view, it connects you with the element of air. And you think about being like an eagle, you know, rising out of your problems <laughs> and seeing things from the overall perspective, instead of being caught in the middle of the forest or the maze of your life. East reminds you of like taking yourself out of the drama of your life uh -huh. and really seeing things from the overall perspective. 